Have you come to kill me? The final insult. Stripping Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. His power that it consumes without end. It is that power that we felt from Onderon, that back and felt. It was an echo, too strong to ignore. General Vatlo and I, when it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, made it strong again. He came with his power, his soldiers. It seemed as if there was nothing we could not do. Nothing the Queen could do to stop us. I have served the wrong master. He cares nothing for Onderon, its soldiers. Everything exists to feed his will. I came here, to this dead ship, and now he will not permit me to leave. This ship, it is a graveyard of a terrible battle. Everything on it slowly dies, as long as he hungers. It is the way of all life that serves him. In his presence, all life dies. This ship is from Malachor. This Sith Lord of yours bolsters his fleet with ships from that world? He's nothing more than a scavenger. I think he is of that place. If so, then his power may be great indeed. Greater than I had thought. The Master suffers. If he cannot feed, then the hunger begins to consume him. The planet, Telos, he may feed on something upon its surface to sustain him a while longer. You think to lie to me still? I will not be deceived again. I told him, you know, what the old woman told me. I told him of the Academy here, of the Jedi here. I could not be kept from him. He means that Jedi witch you travel with, Kraya. Yes. The old woman on Onderon. She spoke of the Jedi Academy here on Telos. And my master was forced to come here. Then her lies will lead the planet's destruction. He will destroy all of Telos. He will turn it to fire again and crush the planet beneath him. He will devour them all, murder them all. If there are no Jedi here, then my lord cannot feed his hunger. He will destroy the planet. Station. He will cleanse it of life. Even if the people below are not force sensitive, the small amount he can feed on from the mass destruction of the station and the life on the planet will sustain him a while longer. And if there are no Jedi below, he will have no other choice. Then he will suffer. Without something to sustain him, I do not know what will happen. He will create nothing. He will end this place. Your old woman has killed this planet, and with it, countless other worlds that depend on its survival. You could not stop him even if you wanted to. And you cannot escape either. If the Force runs through you, he will feed on it when Citadel Station dies. Your time, your life, will end here. On the bridge, he waits. Waiting for you. No, he doesn't. I do not believe he knows his ship has been burned. And if he did, he would not care. The extent of his power cannot be put into words, and his perceptions have grown as well. To him, you are dust motes in a storm, a grain upon the beach, and as insignificant as a body that orbits the graveyard of Malachor. Fight him if you will. But if he turns his power upon you, you will be destroyed. This ship, is it his weakness? It should not exist. Yet it cruises the darkness between the stars. He tore it from the mass shadows of Malachor upon his feet. That is a measure of his power. <laughs> the ship is barely holding itself together. The structural damage should have destroyed it long ago. He holds it together. And he keeps us all alive. Just enough. Like rot worms within a dying beast. Ha! More Jedi tricks. No. 
not Jedi. Not Jedi at all. If he's so powerful, why hasn't he stopped us then? We've attacked his ship, killed his soldiers, and he's done nothing. It is because he sees planets, stars, not people. To him, the planet below, the station with its teeming life, only that is massive enough to demand his attention. There is nothing to be done except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you. And your last moment shall be of shadow and pain. have their own strength about them. They had forgotten. It may seem that way, but perhaps it can become much more. I'm sorry, I did not mean to speak of it. Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough, and you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own. <laughs> 